Okay, so this is the next stop on our Summerland Ornamental Gardens tour, and it does look a little bit different from the other gardens. Yes, uh, the plants that we've used here are all drought tolerant, and it's the demonstration area of the Xeriscape Garden that shows uh, the ability um, to have a lot of seasonal interest in color, um, not just gravel in a Xeriscape Garden. Well, you probably can't hear it, but we can. The sound of Trout Creek running through the back of artist and gardener, Anita DeLong. It's a beautiful spot you have down here in Trout Creek. It's like a long, <laughs> narrow, kind of green oasis. Yeah, we're lucky because we have a lot of big established shade trees. So it kind of, it's a little different take on the Okanagan gardening. And, and this nice big space here, this uh, this beautiful lawn is going to be put to some good use during the tour. Yes, actually in this garden we're going to have Thornhaven Winery and True Green Breads serving some food. And then at another garden at Watkins Place there will be Okanagan Crash Pad Winery and Creperie Olala. So we are quite happy that we're going to be doing food as well as art. This and, sounds uh, like a fantastic tour, as you say, food and wine and art and well, it seems like we can't miss this opportunity to go check out your studio if that's sure, all right. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> what we do is my husband cuts our stones and then we design and set them in sterling silver and then we buy from a lot of really small designer, boutique designers that don't make a lot of any one thing. So we try to have a lot of one of a kind. TV does not do this justice. <laughs> it's just so sparkly and beautiful in here. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thanks. Next stop on our garden tour, we're here right pretty much downtown Summerland in this food filled oasis. Now, Leslie, what do we got here? This is, this is beautiful. We moved in seven years ago and uh, it was all lawn. So we covered the whole thing in black plastic, got rid of everything, started from scratch. And uh, our main focus has been growing year round food. So we like to have food you know, for the summer, but also we preserve things for the winter. We have a winter greenhouse. That's right, I wanted harvest. to ask you about that. Can we go yeah, look in there? sure. So this is our greenhouse. Oh, wow. It's, um, it's kind of a combination greenhouse. It's, uh, it's got tomatoes in. I get those in early, so those are my early tomatoes, but they're also my late tomatoes because they're protected from the, the cooler weather. Mm -hmm. But about uh, mid-August, I plant um, all of these different green vegetables and they will uh, be harvested all winter. You have to get them big enough by the time the cold weather hits. It doesn't hurt them to freeze. Wow. So you come out around midday, lift up the lids, get your scissors out, Fresh harvest a nice vegetables. basket of beautiful greens and uh, wow. there you go. I Is know. it the kind of thing you can learn on this garden tour? Holy smokes, we've got beautiful flowers, we've seen xeriscaping and food all year long. Lots of food.